Namaskaram. What's your name? Atanas. Atanas. Is that a Greek name? Yes. Yes. So my question is, I, I feel that when I'm in a relationship with a woman, I tell the things how they are, that the reaction is a lot of drama, often. <laughs> so, what should I do? Should I continue to, you talked about the truth, that to, to, to be honest, should I, should I stay how I am, or should I a little bit modify the truth to, to keep the things calm? Well, firstly, the truth is not the same thing as being honest. You can, you can be motivated by the truth and tell a lie. These are two different things. The truth is a material reality of your system and you cannot understand it with the thinking only. It is an experiential thing. So, we'll keep the truth aside and we'll go to the question of whether you should be honest or not. Honesty is a different story. You can, as I said and I'm repeating it, you can operate from the truth and the truth can impulse you to tell a lie. Okay. So first your brain has to comprehend that. It's not an easy thing to comprehend. In your case, what you're asking me is, if you have a woman there and you tell her, you know, what you think, uh, there's drama, so what... So is it okay not to tell her the... the whole truth? <laughs> and nothing but the truth, but only the truth, so... Right? That's a bit the question. Look, there are two aspects to this whole thing. One is the, the fun one, which is you're not obliged to say anything to anyone. You're not obliged to divulge um, what you're thinking. You're not obliged to. You're doing that because you like to do it. You like to tell her this, that, 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 but then you don't want the drama. So basically what you're asking is, is there a way by which I can tell her everything I think without getting the drama? So there's no way. The answer is no. The female is a very, very complex and very challenging creature. You will not meet a simple woman who just puts up with everything you say. And not only that, she will not put up with everything you say and she'll also demand from you everything you can't give. He's sighing. <laughs> it's not easy. No, it's not easy, it's not easy and and it's really not easy because you yourself have to first experience going beyond the thinking. You have to go into surrender state. And it's like Hingabe, the word in German. Are you from the German part of Switzerland? Yes, I speak French. Where are you from? From the capital. Of Switzerland, Bern. Okay. The question is, are you ready to... are you ready to grow into something deeper? You know, that's the big question. Because if you... if you actually start to go into that hingabe, into that surrender to Source, to Self, you are more and more truly male. And the more male you are, the less the female is able to challenge you. Why do you make mistakes with a woman so that she gets angry with you or does drama? Those are mistakes that cause the drama. It's because you don't know yourself. Only if you know yourself can you know the female outside. It's mathematical. A man who is surrendered to Source, who doesn't go with his ego, but goes with the Truth, he's just a tougher man. The tougher he is as a man, the less the woman can challenge him. She just won't challenge him. Because a woman only does the drama and challenges because she's trying to find the weakness in you. 
because she has to test if you're strong enough to handle her. Why are you with a woman? What is the, your main aim? To be with a woman? Yes, why? What, what is it actually? Different aspects, the aspect of relation, the aspect of love, the aspect of sexual exchange. So, you would prefer to have a woman who doesn't give you drama, right? No, not that she doesn't give me drama, but I, sometimes when I have my visions of the life, she, she not agree, she does not agree in silence, but she shows it later. So I was thinking about to decide, so I stay keep quiet. And when she asked me about something, so I, I will lie because I don't want late the drama. You won't have to lie if you are... Okay, it's about making yourself so powerful that those conversations don't happen so much. They will always happen because, as I said, you know, a male and a female talking to each other is... they'll never understand each other. It's like a big, fat wall between the two. They cannot. If you're in a male body, you cannot understand a female. If you're in a female body, you cannot understand the male. That requirement has to be struck off. You cannot. It's not possible. It's like, you know, two of them are, you know, Morse coding through a wall. One, one is hitting on the wall from this side and sending a message, and the other one kind of understands it. You miss one tap and you already don't know what the message is. It's very difficult for these two creatures. It's like a tiger and an elephant. They, 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 they don't understand what the other one is saying, and most of the time it's the opposite of what the other one means. In the, in the light of the fact that these two creatures do not understand each other, however equal they are and however much women's liberation has been sprayed in their apartment, the fact of the matter is that they don't understand each other. And so, if each of them has to live together with some minimal dignity, and I know, and I think it's very noble of you, that you don't want to lie, because it's not good to lie. Lying is not the way out, you know, of the mess. So I feel when I, I it's a lie, not a lie, but when I'm not talking honestly, so I, I feel a separation of the confidence, so more... How can I explain? Uh, so, uh, I, I don't know if it. <laughs> uh, you can take your time. Yeah. We have time. Okay. Because this is a very. I'm wondering actually, can this Swiss guy from Bern grasp what I'm saying and institute it in his life? That's the question. Are you even able to understand what I'm saying? Like, even, even to grasp it firstly intellectually. That's the thing, if you can grasp it, if you can try it out even a little bit, it's going to make you stronger to the point where you do not have to get into those... into those situations where such things arise. Why, why is it that... Why is it that she's not agreeing with you? It's okay if it's once in a while, but this is not once in a while. This, is, this seems to be the, the violin playing every day, right? Or often. Often, yes. Yeah, often is... Luckily, it's not yet every day. Because that is coming, if you don't change something. I feel that she's afraid to lose me. So, so that's the main subject. She, I feel that she, she don't want to lose me, so she's creating drama, but that is the, the effect is contrary, so I, more that she will make drama, more that I will. The thing is, what is your, what are you doing in that story? Because you are also making it happen. You know, there's a part of you that wants to test that also. If you would, if you were a real man, a woman would feel secure with you and yet she would respect you and not push too hard and step on your toes. 
So you have to decide, do you want to be that kind of a man or do you want to be a, a, a metrosexual guy that makes the woman continuously insecure? It's a decision. I mean, let's not talk about the women, they're all impossible, but that's another story. So I have to decide which way I should... Yeah, you have to decide. I mean, do you want to tweeze your eyebrows? And that you can do, that's allowed, but nothing else. Like swaying your hips. Look at the, look at the guys, how they walk in, in Zurich and in Bern. They're not men anymore, they're swaying their hips, they walk like women. And the women walk like men. So what do you expect? That's the result. It's not normal, you know, people think, yeah, it's normal for, you know, this kind of thing and the woman is jealous and that is not true. There are many cultures where women are not jealous. A little bit, yes, but not to the extent where it becomes a problem. It's because you're not giving her the confidence and you're not giving her the confidence because you are not confident within yourself. And you're not confident within yourself because you're not learning to distinguish which of your actions are coming from the ahankar, the ego, the, the ego, as you would say in Bern. You have to decide, like, do you want to continue like that? No, I want that the relation is easy and there is no drama and there is a lot of good time, of pleasure. Then you have to find yourself, otherwise you'll be continuously in the problem zone. And then, after a while, you'll get bored of her, so you'll find an excuse to get out of the relationship. Then you'll find another one, and you'll do the same thing with the next one. After two to three years, then it's like, find another one. Make her angry, so that she'll say something, so that you can pack and leave. This is, a, this is what's going on all the time. Hundreds of relationships. And the guys don't want that, they don't want to break up, I mean, but they're not men. If you're not a man, if you don't hold your own as a man, how is the woman going to respect you? She'll keep on torturing you and, and she'll even give you the impression that she's afraid you'll leave her, when this may not even be true. Very smart, women are so smart. You have to decide, do you want to live a, a life of self-realization and self-knowledge? You're sitting in a satsang, so that's what we speak about. Or do you want to go on like this? It's a choice. You know, you're a good guy, I mean, you, you have some solid... you have a solidity to you, but there's too much drama going on in your life and it's going on because you are not with yourself. You're not questioning your actions, you're not self-reflecting. I don't understand, so I have... For, to, for me to be a man is not always to question my decisions, a man, I decide, and when even it's wrong, it's a decision, but... That's fine, but where is the decision coming from? A man has to decide. That's what women also like in men. They like men who take decisions. It's not like, oh, Shatsali, what do you think? Nowadays, I see that the man is just not deciding. The women have to decide everything, and then they don't... They, they, they despise that, you know, the word despise, I don't know what it is in German. Abschätze, abschätzend. It's a decision to change yourself from the base up, in the sense of to start to be more centered, more with yourself. The more you are with yourself, the more confident she will be, the more secure she will be about you. The more she will feel that you're not going to leave her and go and uh, find another woman and this and that, the more the drama will come down and the more joyous you'll be. Because you don't want to change women every two years. It's a pain to even find one to start with. And then after that you get used to her and then to change it again, it's not something a man appreciates actually. So it's a decision. Do you want to go with the ego? Because you see it in your life, the real... When something is going on like that, you know it's because you're living too much from the ego. It's not her fault, it's not her fault. It's you. <laughs> I would tell her the opposite, but she's not here now, right? <laughs> After him, yes, you.